If you cannot measure the temperature of a woman's interest in you, you will ultimately fail in your love life. This is why people settle, they end up married to the wrong person, and they ruin their lives by wasting months, years, or decades of their time and their money and their energy invested into a woman who never truly felt the same way back. Now that's a recipe for disaster. But it doesn't have to be that way. If you fill in your knowledge gap and learn how to determine whether a woman truly desires you from the get-go, you will learn how to observe patterns in her words, in her actions, in her behaviour, in her non-verbal communication that will always indicate to you where you stand with her. And with this information in place, you will know whether it's time to walk away or to safely continue on courting her. Because it comes down to one thing. If you knew that a woman had genuine desire in you, these same values, zero red flags, and that she was 100% safe to court, to marry and start a family with, you would. And that would give you peace of mind and a confidence like nothing else. And that's exactly what I teach men to do. To master relationships righteously. Righteously meaning the right way in the eyes of God, in accordance to the blueprint of the creator. And if we do things his way, it always works out. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to measure the temperature of a relationship. And there are two things to look for. Number one is looking at her words and actions. And secondly, is observing the body language and nonverbal communication. Whether you have just met a girl and it's your first date, you match online, you've been talking for a few weeks, or you were introduced in person and you've been getting to know each other for a month. It does not matter. One date, five dates, three months in or a year in, and you're considering maybe moving in and marrying her. These are all the little nuggets of information that you need to piece together before you make these big decisions. So let's start with number one, words and actions. Guys, you never need to ask a woman where you stand with her. It should be evident in her actions. If you ever doubt her intentions or interest, you just simply have to pay attention to what she says and if it adds up to what she does. Women treat you how they feel about you. Where most guys go wrong is they're focused on their own interest. Well, I like her so much, Christian. So, yeah, she ghosted me, but then she came back. It's okay, I'll forgive her, I'll give her another chance. These inconsistencies should never be happening. So the first little sign you want to look for here is that a woman initiates, responds and maintains contact in your absence. When I mean absence, I mean away from each other in person. I don't care whether you live 10 minutes away, an hour away, you live together or you're in long distance. When a woman is interested in you over time, you will see her make an effort to remain connected to you in time of absence. This means that your presence means so much to her that she wants to feel you. So what is she going to do? When she's away from you, whether it's work, business, family, whatever happens to be, she's going to call you, video call you or text you in between your dates in moments of you both being away from each other. She'll send you sweet little messages, a little call to check in and update you throughout her day. And she will respond to your calls or texts in a timely manner. And this should happen consistently. Genuine women don't suddenly break pattern for no reason. So if she suddenly becomes inconsistent with her effort to contact you, seems to disappear for a long periods of time, and gives different excuses for her absence that don't seem to add up, what you're looking at here is a woman that either settle for you or is emotionally closed off because there's some red flags. And the only exception to this is that you are not doing everything right as a man. Because if you're treating your woman badly, she's just going to disconnect. She's going to pull away. She's going to need time to think about how you made her feel. And then she'll slowly come back to you. But assuming you are doing everything right as a man, you're leading her, courting her, protecting her, providing her, pr providing for her and protecting her well, this should never be happening. This then tells you that there's something off with that woman. The second sign to look for is that 
She makes herself available to you. This is when her words and actions should line up. When she's interested in you, you become her priority over time. Over the course of you courting her and romancing her, she bonds with you. The more honest and open and vulnerable you both are with each other, telling each other the truth about each other's past, opening up, guess what? She's going to yearn to remain close to you as much as possible. This is how you build a solid foundation, as long as she's obviously being open as well. So you'll start to see that you just become her number one. You know, this includes freeing up her schedule to see you when she finishes her work or whenever she's available, she chooses willingly to come to see you, to come spend time with you. She's always looking for reasons to spend quality time with you. And she makes a consistent effort to be in your presence, no matter the circumstances. You know, this is just how it goes. When I first met my future wife, this is how it was always been. Whenever we were both available, always making the time to come see each other, no matter what was going on. Work, business, always made the time to see each other consistently the second we were both free. And this is just how it goes. I look at, I look at relationships I had when I was younger or people that I know, people who I've coached that had bad relationships. The opposite would happen. If you notice a woman suddenly starts making excuses for her unavailability. All of a sudden, she finds more interest in doing things and activities without you. She seems unaffected by spending time apart. She settles for you, or you are saying and, or you are just simply saying and doing things that are lowering her interest in you. But let's assume that you're not doing anything to lower her interest. You're not behaving in any way that's weak or insecure or immoral. Let's assume you're treating her well. If you are doing everything right as a man and your woman makes excuses, all of a sudden she needs to go out with the girlfriends to some girl's trip or something out of the ordinary that doesn't line up with her behaviour. She wants to suddenly try something new and it doesn't involve you. And when you try and make plans with her, she starts cancelling, she starts pulling back. She suddenly doesn't want to make time for you. There is something really wrong and sinister going on. And especially when this happens in waves or patterns and you're doing everything right, this tells you that the woman is, has settled for you. She's not truly into you. So what's going on is she has moments where the guilt comes back to her, the shame comes back to her. What am I doing with this guy? Why did I settle for him? And because she doesn't have that emotional connection to you, she doesn't really feel bad to just walk away and do her own thing and then kind of come back to you. But she'll give you a chance because you're just better than being alone because... This is what happens when people settle. They settle because they have low self-esteem, as most people do in the world nowadays, unfortunately. If you stay with a woman like this, you have low self-esteem. If she's doing this to you, she has low self-esteem. Or vice versa, if there's any women listening. If a man's doing this to you, he has low self-esteem. If you keep giving him a chance, you have low self-esteem. Now, the third sign to look for, gentlemen, is that, and this is when her words connect, she gives you genuine compliments and demonstrates appreciation. When a woman's interested in you, you're going to get genuine compliments that are related to your attributes internally and your appearance. And this is to show you through affectionate words how much she admires and desires you. And this should increase over time. When a woman has truly gotten to know who you are as a man, she will compliment the internal qualities about you, your resilience, your strength, your confidence, your courage, uh, your humour, your intelligence, um, how much drive you have, how, how ambitious you are or whatever. She'll compliment, I don't know, your knowledge on whatever topic you're obsessed about, right? Whatever it is. But because she's gotten to know you well and she's attracted to you, she appreciates all the little quirks about you, all all the internal things that make you, you, that make you unique. And through her words, she'll tell you that. I love this about you. I love that about you. And it's not just once a month. Quite frankly, it's on a weekly basis. When she really loves you, it's actually on a daily basis. You're actually going to get a lot of words of affection. And she really admires you and respects you. And you see that. She's complimenting your qualities consistently. She's building you up. She's inspiring you to be always better, to be a great man. And she lets you know that she sees and notices that. That is a woman that loves you. 
And also she's going to, you know, appreciate and compliment your appearance, how handsome you are, whether she compliments your eyes, your smile, your lips, or your strong arms, your broad shoulders, or how tall you are, or your chiseled jawline, whatever happens to be, or your hair, or whatever it is, she's always looking for different ways to compliment your external and your internal qualities. This lets you, this lets you know that physically she desires you, and emotionally she actually appreciates who you are as a man. So it's a win-win. And of course, this will increase over time. Unless you're doing something wrong and you're hurting your woman and you're mistreating her, yeah, the compliments are going to stop. She's going to stop saying nice things to you because she's closed off emotionally. But again, assuming you're doing everything right as a man, this should be increasing over time. Right? It just is how it goes. But all of the things that I mentioned will slowly fade away or become non-existence if she's settled for you. If she does not have genuine desire for you and she maybe starts off with a bit of limerence, a bit of honeymoon phase on her best behaviour, when that girl realises after a few weeks or a few months that, oh, I'm not that into this guy, she'll stop faking it, right? If the girl maybe is a narcissist or she's trying to love bomb you, all of that will disappear. And even then, you, you'll, you'll know it, it will never sound genuine, right? But if you're actually not getting complimented, or you've never had your woman tell you how handsome you are, and you can really see that sparkle in her eyes when she says it. She doesn't really compliment your qualities or who you are. You can kind of see there's no actual appreciation for you. That's telling you that something's really off with her. She's not into you. You should, you should analyse that. Why would you stay with someone like that? It's just not worth it. And finally, regarding words and actions... One of the obvious actions that a woman is truly into you is that she makes an effort to look beautiful around you. You need to understand that when a woman desires you, she will make a conscious effort to look feminine and beautiful to demonstrate her desire and respect for you. She will behave in a ladylike, feminine and modest manner as time goes on because she knows that she represents you. As it says in scripture, a virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that makes him ashamed is like rottenness in his bones. A good woman knows she's, her cl- she's your crown, she's your glory. You can always judge a man by the quality of woman by his side. She makes you either look good or bad in front of everyone else. And an honourable woman is the highest form of status you can ever get that's natural and that is actually moral. Because you can hide behind your money. You can hide behind a handsome face or your muscles. But you can't really fake a good, feminine, beautiful woman by your side. Because a woman like that has standards. And she's only going to choose a good man. So she's a reflection of you. So if you choose a woman, and she's always making this effort to look good around you, you've won. Why am I saying this? There is this whole stereotype nowadays that you get into a long-term relationship, people let themselves go, they kind of like, ah, they settle, they just get comfortable and complacent yeah if you settle but if she feels like you are Mr. Handsome you're Mr. Right you are the exact man of her dreams you are the husband that she wants she's gonna look good for you she's gonna make more effort over time she'll take care of her appearance whatever favorite color or favorite dress you like on her she'll wear that often whatever style of hair that you like on her she'll do that often because she wants to make you happy She wants to look good for you in the same way that you, if you love her, you want to look good for her. It's common sense. So if you don't see this with your girl, again, going back to the exception I've been mentioning throughout this video, unless you're treating your woman like crap and you've let yourself go, then she slowly might stop doing these things. And if you start doing things right again, it will come back. But assuming you've done everything right consistently, three months, six months, a year, and your girl stops making an effort in her beauty and her appearance... And quite frankly, if you look at the beginning, it really wasn't much there at the beginning. Maybe at the first few weeks to kind of like give you a good image and love bomb you or present herself as a good candidate for you. Then you're looking at a woman that doesn't have desire. If she stops caring about her appearance around you, but then you notice she makes an effort when she's not around you, that lets you know she's settled for you. Because if sometimes if there's something psychologically off with her, she's going through something, 
she'll just stop in general, right? You can fix that, you can help her. But if you see that your girl is going out, looking hot, looking beautiful, but when she's around you, she kind of looks like a slob and lets herself go, she doesn't care how you perceive her anymore. That's a woman that's lost desire for you or never really had it to begin with and now doesn't have to put on a mask anymore. Beware of that, gentlemen. So those are the things to look at with word and action. You never need to ask her, do you really like me? Are you with me for the right reasons? Just look at the things I've stated and it's there. You'll know. Now, the second thing that you need to observe is body language and nonverbal communication. This is the second method that's observable, repeatable, and you can test it as many times as you want to act- act- accurately gauge the temperature of your relationship. Whether you're on a date or spending quality time with a woman you're serious, you always want to be observant of how open or closed her body language is over the weeks, the months or the years that you're with her. Because nonverbal communication can often speak the loudest. Be observant. Always look at the patterns in her behaviour so you can gauge whether you're making mistakes or if the issue actually lies in her. So let's start with body language. And this is a principle, even if you're not in a relationship, if you're sitting there having a coffee, you're at the gym, you're out and about in town and you see couples, people watch the same way you'd sit there and study birds or whatever other animal. You can always tell, if you really get good at this, the couples that are actually connected or are disconnected. They're walking together, they're kind of far away, one of them has the arms folded, they're not holding hands. You know, you go over to someone's house, the couple isn't sitting next to each other, they're kind of sitting further apart. Whereas couples that have more intimacy and more connection, they kind of sit closer, don't they? They hold hands, they're looking at each other, they're smiling more. Their body language speaks a thousand words. And this is what I need you to understand in your own relationship. Oftentimes you can get carried away by things going on and you think, oh, we're so comfortable. I don't need to hold her anymore. It's fine. She stopped touching my hand. She stopped cuddling me. It's all right. No, it's actually not. In the same way with words and actions that these things that I mentioned previously should increase over time, right? You get more compliments over time. She consistently looks beautiful around you. She appreciates you. She consistently makes herself available to you. You become a priority over time. She's always finding ways to remain connected during absence. If this is happening with her words and actions, then with her body language, it should have the same level of interest, right? It should add up. If it's not, then there's something wrong. So when we look at body language, you have to look at all these different things. When you're out and about with your woman walking in the street, does she grab your hand? Does she put her hand around your arm? When you're in private, does she initiate, touch? Does she cuddle you? Does she jump into your lap? Does she run into your arms when you get home from work? Does she put a head on your shoulder when you're watching a movie? Does she hug you? Does she kiss you? Does she give you physical affection? Obviously, you should always give your woman the freedom and the time to come to you at her own pace. Never be pushy or try and force a woman that's wrong on so many levels. But what you need to understand is that touch, that kiss, that hug, holding you tight, it communicates interest that cannot be faked. The more she initiates, the more comfortable she feels. The more a woman has fallen for you, the more she respects you, the more she admires you, the more she desires you, the more she's going to be physical. So the closer she's physically towards you, the higher level of attraction. And the more distance she puts between you translates to lower levels of interest. So over time in your relationship, this should be something consistent that is maintained and actually grows more, right? Especially during times of absence. You've gone away on a business trip, you've gone away on a to work and you come home your woman should be greeting you with passion with desire at the very least when you reconnect in private away from family away from friends or away from your children if you don't want to do it in front of them there should be passion there should be connection there should be intimacy there okay she should remain open to touch with her body language so if she suddenly stops initiating all being touchy-feely Or she stops reciprocating physical touch. In other words, when you try and give her a hug, you try and give her a kiss, 
you're trying to like hold her hand and she's like closed off. She's giving you different excuses and she's pulling away. This is either going to be a woman who doesn't have genuine desire in you and just doesn't want to fake it anymore. Or this is going to come back to the exception that I've mentioned again. You're doing something wrong. You're not treating her well. You're not showing up as a man. You're scaring her. You're turning her off. Or she doesn't trust and respect you as much anymore. So she's closed off emotionally, which will translate to her closing off physically. You need to apply this to your situation and do the math. And then give it the answer that you need. But understand that body language is really important. And there are a lot of couples out there who, even from the get-go, you know, as the weeks and the months go by, you start to notice the girl doesn't really hold you, hold your hand, kiss you, hug you. She's very disconnected from you. And you think, oh, in time it will get better. She's just, you know, she's very careful. But once you build a connection and she's still holding back, there's no desire. You can't fake that. And the second thing, guys, the second sign here is non-verbal communication. You have to look at the patterns in her behavior, in her facial expressions, her eye contact. All of this is going to show you how she feels towards you. A lot of men are blinded by this. They're so focused on looking at the woman's body or looking how beautiful she is. They're not actually understanding her. They can't see that the woman before them doesn't really desire them. When a woman is interested in you, she will remain focused on your physical appearance. She likes what she sees, especially as the months and years go by. If she really thinks you're a 10 out of 10, you're going to look like a 20 out of 10. Because now she's actually gotten to know you and she likes you more as a person. She's connected with you emotionally. She's happy with the man that you are. She feels lucky to have you because she has gotten to know you. Not because of limerence, not because of being in some honeymoon phase. No, she truly likes the man that you are. So looking at you is enjoyable to her. So when she looks at you, she's going to smile, hold eye contact when she speaks to you. Her gaze will remain focused on you without distraction. She will adamantly listen to what you say and show genuine interest in the things that you do and say as a man over all. And this will happen consistently. Furthermore, her tone of voice. This has been well documented that when a woman desires a man, her voice pitch heightens, it softens. Women make themselves more physically weaker and more open and available to men they desire. So her tone of voice is going to remain soft, inviting. She's going to be laughing. She's going to be flirting with you. You're going to hear the excitement in your woman's voice consistently. This is non-verbal communication 101. There is nothing else to it. But if you notice that over time she stops doing these things and starts to look off into space, seems to be always on her phone around you, distracted, isn't really giving you her full attention when you speak to her. Her tone of voice becomes hardened or monotone. Her face is emotionless when you interact with her. This is going to tell you that she's either emotionally closed off because you're saying and doing things wrong, you're not leading her right, you're not treating her well, or there isn't any genuine desire. Okay, you're not a type, she's holding back, she has red flags, there's something off with the woman. It's going to always be one or the other. So this is the stuff that I want you to pay attention to. So just to recap here, guys, this is how you measure the temperature of your relationship. Whether you've been dating a girl for a little bit or it's been a long time, you cannot miss these things. Words and actions and body language and nonverbal communication. It will always connect and you cannot have one without the other. This is the beautiful thing. If you start to notice that she's not really complimenting you with her words, she's kind of not really spending much time around you. What you'll notice is when you eventually spend time around her, her body language is closed off. Or the non-verbal cues in her behaviour will show you that she's just not that into you. But the opposite will be true. 
if she's making an effort to look beautiful around you, she's, her body language is going to be open. If she's consistently making herself available and prioritising her plans with you, you're probably going to get complimented a lot. Her non-verbal communication is going to show you that she's entirely focused on you. Her interest will always be there or it won't. And you have to pay attention to the signs. So with that said, hope you found value in this video. If you'd like to learn more about what I teach, the links are down below in the description to Relationship Mastery and my community. So with that said, hope you all have a wonderful day. And of course, that you all have a Merry Christmas. And I'll see you all in the next one. God bless all of you and your families.